What's up guys, my name is Morgan. I'm Garrett, we are FOMO, we're at Excellent Sound, breaking down our new track, Switch, for you guys. We got two free downloads in the description. The song sounds a little something like this. Let's go hit them like this. All right. Like I mentioned, we got two sounds we're breaking down for you guys today. Uh, one from the first drop, one from the third drop. Both will be linked in the description, presets, racks, everything. Uh, Morgan's going to kick us off with the first lead from the first drop. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we got for the first trap that he sent right here. So it sounds like by itself and without all the processing. It sounds like <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's all it sounds like. <laughs> All right, so with this sound, what uh, what we're going for lately is we've just been distorting the crap out of things and just seeing how it sounds. So uh, like you heard before, we just started out with a simple sine wave up Most here. Most You open Serum, this is what you got. Knocked it down a couple octaves. Yeah, no effects right here. Just got the sine wave and some pink noise. And right here we got this swing knob. And what this does is it just lets us control the volume of both these oscillators when we want to. So it's pretty much just on every other beat. And what this does, so... When you, depending on the volume of the sound going into the distortion, it'll sound completely different. So this makes the sound sound a little bit more natural and adds like variation. Gives it a little swing, wouldn't you say? <laughs> a little bit of sauce throughout the um, phrasing. So um, let's let's get into this processing. All right. So first up, we got this trash plugin, which is from Isotope. A really good plugin. Just distorts the crap out of everything. So that's what it sounds like with just the trash. And uh, wh when we're using this, we're pretty much just going through presets and listening for what sounds good. With this one, we got uh, we got the nasty boy in we there. We landed on the nasty boy. What do we like to call we it? We call Garrett? it the nasty girl. <laughs> that that nasty, nasty girl boy. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're into that thing, it's a nasty boy. For us, it's the nasty girl. Yes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we just choose presets on here and like we tinker with them if. Uh, Need be. We, yeah, we want to, but this one's just the stock nasty boy. Yeah, so this is carrying most of the sound. And I'm leaving this EQ up just so you can see everything that's going on. So this turns that sine wave into just uh, everything going just on. Just a here. beefcake. Yeah. After that saturation, or after that, we got some saturation that's just making it louder. Then we got this utility. And what we did here is so we got this Max for Live plugin, which comes with Ableton. You guys should all have it. Um, and it's just like swooping up the volume to reintroduce a uh, slower attack on so it. So the gain is mapped to this, yeah. which it is essentially an LFO. Yeah, so you map, you like decide what envelope you want, and then you map it to what you want over here. And it's swooping up the volume because, so pretty much what this is, it'd be the same as if you went like this and put it on the level and just had it swoop up right here. But after you distort it, it gets rid of all the like attack and- Loses its shape. Yeah. So this gives it a little more cut. Yeah, so without it, it would sound like this. So it's like super sharp and clicky, but we want it just to swoop in so it sounds more natural. All right, moving on. We got this FOMO frequency splitter. So what this is, is it's just splitting the frequency range into three bands so we could affect it all differently. And pretty much how you make this is you would just have an EQ and then group it and then duplicate the chain or make three chains and then just have the, um, just solo out the frequency bands. And you could have more control over it. So we mapped out the cutoffs right here. So as you move up the low band, it also would move up the mid band. So you could choose what frequencies you want to mess with. And you would do that just by hitting the map and going up here and setting that. So for the mids, lows, we got nothing. Mids, we got a little bit of chorus to make it wide. And this is just stock settings, or I believe, yeah, we take off this high pass because we want the whole frequency range coming in and then I just tinkered with the time and set it to 50 and then for the highs we got a um, little bit of hyper dimension a little bit right here low size high mix in the dimension a little extra width in the top end a little bit of high width baby beautiful okay and then from there you got a the yeah. high solo oh I got the high solo don't want to do that oh. From there, we had another dimension expander. This would be the same as if you had dimension in Serum you effects. can just never get too wide, can you? Yeah, just make it a little wider up here. Ain't that shit. <laughs> <laughs> From there, we got a little reverb rack. All right, so the reason why we make the reverb into a rack is because if... So essentially, you'd think this would be the same as if you had the reverb at 50% dry-wet just on the whole track. 
but we found that when you do that, you lose volume and clarity of the sound. So we duplicate the chain so we could control the reverb better. And this way you could like turn it up and down or do whatever you want. So for this reverb, we had a short decay time, um, high stereo to make it wide and then low size. That'll just bring it up in your face. And then the dry signal can just breathe by itself up there. A little bit of OT tizzle after that, bringing up the highs, bringing up the mids. And then we got 10 on the output. So the reason why we do this pretty much every time we bring on OTT because OTT will bring the level down about 10 on any sound. So this just bumps it up so you could gain match the whole thing. And we bump up this time because this is the entire attack and attack and release envelopes of the whole thing. So if you increase this, it'll it won't like latch on to the any tail you have in the sound so we we don't want the reverb to stick out that much so we turn it up keep the keep the plate nice and yeah. short so this is with the, with the OTT. and usually we'll have this on the whole time so we could hear what all these are doing beforehand and then after that we got a eq cutting out the lows and what do we got up here Gary? we got a nice little 10k titty it's that 10k titty and <laughs> just a nice little nip up at 10k the bring out some of that crunch yeah so the reason why we are like how we get to do this is we kind of just go throughout the sound and listen to what's going on at all these ranges and decide what we want or don't want and then cut or boost just sweep yeah, yeah. so it so very it varies depending on the yeah. sound so this is just a little bit of crunch on the high end and then uh, after that, we got a utility, and this adds a little bit of decay towards the end of the bass phrasing over here. Just makes it sound a little bit more natural, so you could flow into the fill that happens A little more right cohesive here. into yeah, the so. turnaround. Yeah, so that'd be the same as if you bounced it and then added a fade to it. Precisely. Then, yeah, exactly. And then let me show you guys that separate sub. So we cut out the lows so we could have our own sub, and that'll be up here. Yeah, we don't like to do the sub in Serum. Typically, we'll always low cut our main lead and then bounce out a sub. Yeah, it gets too messy. So for the for the sub right here, we just bounced out a long file of the hip hop sub, which is just a stock Ableton instrument. And then we have we like put in the rhythm ourselves and then draw in fades, so we have like more control and it sounds more natural and much stuff more like that. precise. Yeah. And the reason why the hip hop sub is so fat over here. Because you got this third harmonic, which is just adds that fucking rumble, baby. You need that rumble. <laughs> and uh, all right, let's move on to that second sound. That's it for the first drop sound. Heading over to drop three. Sounds a little something like this. Not like that. Got to get rid of this filter. <laughs> drop three. Let's go ahead and like. <laughs> So we got a little bit more going oh, on yeah, here. Oh yeah, just a little. So we're gonna show you guys how to make this little wumpy sound right here. It's another vocab word for y'all. Wump wumpy. wumpy. Write that down, folks. <laughs> a wampus, actually. <laughs> a wampus, baby. You've heard of wubs. <laughs> you've heard of wubs. You've heard of dubs. This is a wampus. So uh, what the thought was with this sound is, so we got this long sustaining sound right here. That big stab. So after that, we wanted to add like something with rhythm. Break it add, up like, a little bit. Yeah, add some variation to the bass, bass phrasing. phrasing. is very important. Bass phrasing. So we got the groove right here is triplet eighth notes. And if you don't know how to set that up, you got to turn on this little triplet guy right here. And then you could, this little T, that's triplet. So triplet, a lot of trap stuff has triplets. So that's what we're doing right there. And so for the sound, I'm just going to go over like our little bass template for you guys. So whenever we're doing like FM basses or anything. Oh, man. So this is kind of like what our bass template would look like. And um, so stock, it just scrolls through this entire wavetable position. And what we're doing is we're just listening for cool tones. So just flipping through. Yeah. So we'll just go through all the like spectrum, spectral wavetables and stuff, and just and you can just find a little segment you like, a little yeah. piece, and apply that. So let's go back up to the sound. So and then from there, we just go ahead and start messing around with FM. And then once we get the the tone we want from the FM, I added in the low pass. So we got the, the shape that's the womp. shape it with that's the filter the for you. And then we got. In the effects, we got this little bell, and this is kind of like where the presence of the sound Similar was. to our other titty. Yeah. This so is just a little, bringing out a little something in the mids. 
Yeah. So again, we're just listening. Just sweeping through the sound. Like if the you find something you like, you yeah. bring it up. If you find something you hate, you bring it down. Yeah. Just listening to the, the spice in there. And then we got the LFO on the size just to have it flare out to the, the width right there. And then a little OT chisel after that. And then let's see. We got that. Okay. Let's turn off this processing and go by one by one. Or, excuse me. Your excuse, sir. So right out of serum, we got this. Pretty that's cool. What, that's but with the overdrive. Yeah, oh, with the overdrive. Yeah. So that's that's what you got. But from there, you're just gonna make it bigger. So with the overdrive, we're just distorting and kind of just dragging it. Not around. a ton. It's only at 12 percent. Just adds yeah. a little more, a little more yeah. crunch, a little bit of distortion. So we'll just drag this little dot around and see what sounds good, and then do the dry mix, uh, dry wet from there. Kind of looks like a titty too. A little kind of <laughs> bunch of titties. Seems to be a theme here. Weird cone titty right here. There's another, oh, okay, that's, I don't like that titty. Yeah, so uh, erosion, this is pretty much just going to add noise to the entire sound, and you got all these, so wide noise would just make it wider, and then a sine wave is um, kind of hard to hear right there, but sine wave would just make it, like, more FM-y kind of sound. Move that Ableton over, you dumbass. <laughs> this one? Move Ableton. the whole Ableton over a little bit to the left. Right there? Yeah. There you right, go. Sweet. All right, so yeah, that's just adding a little bit of noise. From there, we got serum effects. This is the width, no Just a little no dimension hyper. on there. Just some dimension, no size. High so mid. you have the size all the way down, but even with the size all the way down, you still get that effect Yeah. Um, so, as long as the mix is up. So the size, what the size does, it kind of delays it. Yeah, so you could hear it right there. It, it sounds super muddy, so we just keep this down. Adds just the width that, with none of that width. delay. And then after that, we got the OT tizzle. Dragging up the highs and the mids, and Cutting what we did with the lows. lows is this is kind of the same as doing a low cut, but sometimes we do it, sometimes we don't. I can't really explain why we do it sometimes, yeah. but I uh, got that ten boost again, and then this time really isn't. I think we just, just put it at sixty nine to because yeah, it's funny. Yeah, <laughs> that's just for the viewers. <laughs> okay, and hope then you appreciated that. Same thing with the reverb rack here. And so this is where you get that more control. So we turned it down eight to make it less wet, but it still has the effect. And then again, we got the low decay time, so it's not a long tail. We got the stereo width, and we got the low size to bring it up in your face. After that, glue compressor. This is a little the glue same. to bring it all home. Yeah, just uh, this is just makeup game. This is the same as if you had like an analog clip saturator with three point whatever um, gain on it. That's just making it louder. And then again with the low cut. And we got some high shelf right here just to bring up those highs. That's about it for that sound. That's a wrap for that. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, like we said, we have two sounds for you, full racks and presets in the description. If you liked the video, go ahead and shoot us a like. If you liked us, throw some comments down for Danny and Parker to read and say you want us to come back and show you guys some more. Um, as for us, Switch, our brand new single is out on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, wherever you listen to music, Napster. I don't know if that even fucking exists, but it's up there. Um, socials, all of it, that's going to be linked in the description. Um, Cartel Volume 2, the biggest sound pack ever made, is live. We've Big been, boy. We've been tinkering around with that for the last couple weeks. If you're making bass music, you got to have the pack. Um, other than that? Um, I'm starting to do lessons on the Excellence site, so if you guys want to um, hang out with your boy, I'll show you some stuff. Little and, plug. Uh, we'll let you guys listen to the break here to close. Excuse me, the real break. Fun fact, this is my voice. Let's go ahead and like.